Oh yeah, do I have Cheeto fingers? <laughs> Ignore that. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing two questions on Papa Scrolls Tarot Vlogmas 2021 challenge. So question 29 is what goals do you have for next year? Well, my I think my main and big goal is to first sell out on the Iris Tarot because I have a few decks left. There was only, uh, how much were there made? Hold on. There's only 122 decks that were made of the first edition print of the Iris Tarot. So my very first goal is to sell out on the deck. And then once it's sold out, I can start working on, I don't know if it'd be a second edition or its own first edition again, because I want to come out with an Iris Tarot, but the way I'm calling it is an Arcoiris edition. Arcoiris means rainbow in Spanish. And um, the way I am planning to do it is essentially it'll be the same deck. Maybe a few cards might be slightly different, but the background, well here, let me see if I can grab it to show you guys. Got it in here in my personal little iris bag, which by the way, this was, this was planned to be like an add-on for the Kickstarter, but that unfortunately didn't fall through. So maybe, fingers crossed, if I do a second Kickstarter for, the Arcoiris edition, but so what my plan is, so if you guys have a copy of the deck, well, whether you do or you don't, but you've probably seen like videos that I have on the Iris Tarot. So for my deck, each um, card and suit have their own color. Here, let me try to grab one from each suit. So the Pentacles have green tones right to also help you you know know that this is a pentacle card the wands have red and orangish tones orangish orangey <laughs> you know what i'm talking about the cups have blue tones uh this one is probably not a good example because it's the ten of cups and i put a rainbow in there let me find another one here we go all right so here's the four of cups so the cups have blue tones in there for cups and then the swords have purple tones in there and then as far as the majors go the majors have their own colors let's see if i can grab a few majors to show you all right so i have a few major cards to show you so the majors have their own different types of colors integrated based on what major card it is and how uh, it came to me either by some sort of Claire something, like clairvoyance, clairaudience, Claire something, or how it came to me in a dream. If you watch my playlist of how I started creating the deck, then you'll know what I mean by the Claire's, like how I got messages from the Claire's with what colors and what to choose to put on each card for the Iris Tarot. But, so what my plan is for the Arcoiris edition is to have each card, uh, the major and the minors, with like a rainbow background. All of them would just have a rainbow background. So it'd be like an Arcoiris, like a rainbow. <laughs> so that's what I plan to do with um, the other version of the Iris Tarot. Now I don't think it's necessarily a second edition of the Iris Tarot because it'll be its own first edition of the Arcoiris edition. Hopefully that makes sense. But that is one of my main goals is to hopefully start working on that. I will start working on it though once I get close to selling out from the Iris Tarot's first edition copy. So we'll see how that goes. Other goals that I have for next year, uh, which I think I've mentioned in like one or two other prompts for this Tarot Vlogmas challenge, is to introduce um, videos on dreams, uh, tarot reading videos, uh, more vloggy kind of videos. Not like vloggy as in the typical, let me grab the camera and take you everywhere I go. More like vlog as in literally sit down and just talk and log a vlog of, you know, whatever. What else? There's other stuff that I wanted to bring to my channel, but I can't remember right now. But essentially those, so stuff stuff about dreams, um, tarot reading videos, more vloggy kind of videos where I just sit down and chat with you guys about anything and everything. I think that's all I can think of at the moment. But my main goal for sure is like 
selling out on the Iris Tarot Verse Edition to work on the Arcoiris Edition. That is my number one goal. So question 30 is, what should you leave behind in 2021? And I brought out the Tarot Disassemble to help me uh, make up my mind on what I should leave behind in 2021. This deck smells so good, by the way. All right, so what should I leave behind in 2021? Um, I really want to leave behind self-doubt. Like, self-doubt in general with anything and everything or with anyone. Because we, we know, we all know that sometimes we have doubt in ourselves to approach a particular person or talk to someone or, and this is about anything. It doesn't have to be like, you know, like I have doubts or I feel shy to talk to my crush. No, this can be like having doubts or being scared to talk to someone about any issues that you're having, right? Things like that. So it can mean a lot of things, but that's like the main thing that I can think about. It's like, stop, stop doubting myself and just, just do it. <laughs> Insert meme of the just do it. But what else should I leave behind? I mean, aside from like, you know, the usual stuff that we don't want to bring with us. Ooh. Oh, interesting. I will show you in a bit. Hold on. I usually pull three cards when I do a reading because three to me just feels right. Oh, that one flipped over. Jesus. One more, one more. Come on, one more card. What should I leave behind in 2021? What are we getting? Or what am I getting? <laughs> Go with this one. Hooray, let's see what we got. So we have, oh, interesting, we have two fours. 44, I'm not big on numerology, but I'm sure I'll research what 44 means and put it somewhere on the screen. So we have, the first card that came out was the Lovers. Interesting. The Lovers has been following me since I went back into tarot, by the way. <laughs> The second card I got, which is the one that kind of like flipped over, was the Four of Swords. And I feel like this one flipped over dramatically because um, I'm being told to focus more on this. And then the last one I got is the Four of Cups. Now, what do I feel to me that this means what I should leave behind in 2021? Well, I feel like with the lovers, maybe, Leaving behind, like I mentioned earlier, that self-doubt, but in this case, when it comes to people, and that includes myself, obviously, because I'm people. <laughs> like not being afraid to make those choices, not being afraid to be wrong, or even being afraid to be right, because sometimes, sometimes we're afraid to be right. It might not make sense as to why you would be, but sometimes that happens. So that's what I'm getting off of the lovers. Quick and simple, right? With the Four of Swords, this is the one that flipped out dramatically. With the Four of Swords, what I'm getting is like, chill the fuck out. <laughs> Straight to the point, that's what I'm getting with the Four of Swords. What I should leave behind in 2021 is that abundance of anxiety that I keep getting from like the dumbest stuff. And I need to just chill the fuck out in 2022. So the last one I got is the Four of Cups for what I should leave behind in 2021. Now with the Four of Cups, I'm getting, again, bringing it back to that whole self-doubt or like fear of people. In this case, I'm getting to leave behind that fear of needing or wanting to reach out to people for help. Of like always trying to do it by myself because I've been so used to just doing anything and everything by myself, right? So I'm getting leave behind, leave behind the fear of reaching out to others when I need help. That's what I'm getting off of the Four of Cups here. But I think for sure, the Four of Swords is what stuck with me more. 2022, I need to chill out. All right, well, I think that's it for this video. That's all I have for those two prompts. If you stuck to this part of the video, there's no, there's no like ornament. What can we put? I feel like we've used all the Christmas emojis. Ooh, put Mrs. Claus. <laughs> put Mrs. Claus in the comments down below if you stuck to this part of the video. Don't forget to like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!